Thanks for interacting with opportunistic leadership. Why did I write this? In my experience, I used to think that everything was linear, that everything had a cause and effect and most things could be planned for and that's how we would get our results. As I began to travel around and share about the story of Christ the King, I realized that there had been so many intervening moments in our story that were so critical to it. And some of those might not be duplicated in another story. And so it became difficult to say, you can do what we did because the circumstances were so special for us. On the other hand, as I interacted with other people's stories, great church stories, church growth stories around the world, I began to see that they had their own serendipitous moments where God had shown up big for them. And it began to be apparent to me that maybe the way God grows his church is by bringing along these special moments. Maybe he brings special moments to every church. And that the difference between a church that grows and a church that doesn't is that a church that grows takes advantage of what God gives them. And maybe a church that doesn't, doesn't take advantage or maybe can't take advantage of those opportunities when they arise. So this is the genesis of opportunistic leadership. I hope you'll interact with these ideas. Thank you so much for spending some time thinking about this and praying about this and discerning how God is bringing opportunities to you.